Hi, my name is Dina, and I sit on the Christian Reformed Church's Committee for Contact with the Government. I also work for World Renew's Refugee Sponsorship and Resettlement Program, and I would like to welcome you to my front door. Now, it is a little windy here, so sorry about any background noise, but my front door and I are on the traditional and unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and the tsleil First Nations, also known as Vancouver, BC. I'm also in the federal constituency of Vancouver East, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I might ask candidates about or engage candidates on if they were to come to my door or if I were to see them out in the community. Now, because of my work with World Renew and also the Christian Reformed Churches of British Columbia, working with people who have arrived in Canada as refugees, I'm particularly interested in talking with candidates about what they and their parties hope to do in terms of supporting justice for refugees and resettlement of refugees in Canada. So if they did come to my door, I think I would feel just fine to pull out a piece of paper with some of the things I'd like to talk about because it can be hard to remember in that moment. Another thing I'd like to do, which I don't have with me right now, is to give them a copy of a report from Citizens for Public Justice called Continuing Welcome, which you can download online for free. And Continuing Welcome is a report that addresses some of the gaps in Canada's refugee sponsorship program and gives some suggestions and recommendations for how the government can begin to address those gaps. It's a very helpful report, and so I would try and have a few of those copies printed on hand to give to candidates as I have given them to my MP in the past. So one of the first things I might ask them about is how their parties hope to support vaccine equity for countries and people across the world. So we know that many countries do not have the access to vaccines that Canada has had. And I would like to know how Canada is going to continue to work as it has already been to increase equitable access to vaccines including for people who are refugees. So people who are refugees are generally not citizens or permanent residents of some of the countries where they are in transit. And I would like to ensure that any equitable vaccine access includes them. The second thing I might ask about are the wait times and backlogs in Canada's refugee sponsorship program. There are dozens of groups, hundreds of groups, including churches across Canada, who are waiting to welcome refugees who they have sponsored. And there is a great backlog in the system, thousands of cases, which means that these groups are waiting. And the refugees who are waiting to come to safety are also being asked to wait for far longer than we would like to see. So I'd like to know what the parties are going to do to work on making that backlog smaller and on decreasing the wait times between when an application is submitted and when a refugee arrives in Canada. The third thing that I might ask about is affordable housing. Affordable housing impacts, of course, many people across Canada, not only people who have arrived here as refugees. However, I would say that every single person who has come here as a refugee that I have met has been impacted by the lack of affordable housing. We know it's bad in Vancouver, but it is also bad across the country. And I think this is a critical issue. And I would like to know what the parties will be doing to work on the housing shortage, particularly the shortage of affordable housing. Lastly, I would like to ask them about Afghanistan. So I would like to ask what the parties will be doing to support resettlement of refugees who are from Afghanistan, uh, particularly those who did work with the Canadian military. And I would like to ask about foreign policy, so that includes relating to Afghanistan. That is a more complicated and detailed topic, but our foreign policy does impact other countries. It impacts who becomes a refugee. And so I would like to know what candidates and parties are are thinking about foreign policy. Now, at the end of our conversation, also, I would thank the candidate because despite the many gaps in our system, I have been very encouraged by what I've seen as bipartisan 
support for refugee resettlement and refugee justice in Canada. And I would like to thank the candidates for that as well. Thanks.